Hello, it's Frank Tierdorf, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to show you how to add excerpts to your page files. Now, most of the time we have it on posts, uh, but we don't always have it on the page. And for sometimes in, in layouts and design and for various reasons, you may want to add an excerpt to that page. Now, I'm not going to get into the design of it and the reasons why you would want to do that, but I just want to show you a quick and easy how to add it. What I'm talking about here, if we look at our post in our current layout, um, this is just a site that I've been playing with. Uh, so I click on this post and it will open over here and we have a place over here for excerpt. And right now, of course, it's blank, but... I could add an excerpt there if I wanted to that we that I could use in the page layout or design. You know, sometimes you have modules where you have an excerpt underneath it, um, but we don't have that same functionality in a page. And for some reason, other there's are some cases. Um, just ran into one recently where if you go to a page and you wanted to have an excerpt displayed, uh, if you're doing like child pages or something like that. Um, so if I go here and click on edit, you'll see that we do not have that same functionality. We do not have an excerpt over here. So to get that, um, all you need to do really is, it depends on what type of theme you're using. I'm gonna show you a couple different formats here. But um, what I'm gonna do here real quick, let me pull this over to the other side. What I'm gonna do here real quick, I'm using Beaver Builder. And in some cases, if you're using, depending on the theme you're using, we could go to Theme Editor and since Beaver Builder uses a child theme, I can modify the functions right here. If not, you could actually pull up like one of these here, click select, and you might have an option to get to the functions um, this way. Sometimes this is turned off. Yeah, there's functions there as well. Sometimes it's turned off. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to the Beaver Builder that I'm using. And I would want to um, click on functions and I would want to just take the code here and let me go ahead and I, I like to comment what I'm doing uh, so that if somebody comes in or if uh, I come back later and it's like which codes what I can say uh, that's what it is so I'm going to add post type support page equals excerpt excerpt and I'm going to go ahead and click update file And that's updated. So now when we go to all pages, we'll click on edit here. And if everything worked fine and that saved properly, we now have a place here for excerpts. <clears throat> so you can see how we could use that there and that comes in handy for, as I said, layouts and things of that sort. Now, if for some reason that you don't have access to your functions page here, you could actually go into your um, cPanel account and I have that here. I can go into File Manager. And if you know what theme you're working with, um, I'm just going to act like I'm just going to one of them here. Go to WP Content, click on Themes. And I'll just go into the 2019 theme. And we should be able to find functions here. So I could right click and edit. And it's going to ask me about <clears throat> certain type of editing here. So I'm just going to go here. And it has it. In this case, I want to just scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to click here and add my note. And then paste in our code and save that file. And then this theme also would have the page excerpt. So if I used uh, activated this theme in my post, or if I went into, um, yeah, so if I went in here and clicked on the 2019, um, I would have that now as well in that theme. So if I made that active, so if I go into themes, <clears throat> I could click on the 2019 and it would have that active as well. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you have any ideas of or questions that you'd like to see me do a video on, just visit uh, Just Ask Frank and I'll get that done. That's justaskfrank.com and uh, post a comment there. Let me see, show you here. Just Ask Frank. You can go to Just Ask Frank here and contact me. Uh, click here to ask your question, and you post your question here, and I'll get that answered um, as I do more videos. So I appreciate that, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.